Masters of the Post is a narrative history of one of the defining components of Britain as a nation, the post office. It covers 500 years and is a history full of extraordinary stories. Remarkably, all of these episodes can be told with the help of documentary records at the post office, or the Royal Mail Group as it has now become, where they form an archive like no other. These archives, which are held here at the British Postal Museum and Archive in central London, sit in a deep vault underneath the main sorting office at Mount Pleasant. And here's the very first one of them, which is a record of the postmasters of 1667, their past salaries and their recommended salaries. A few years later, we have what came to be called the Book of Annual Payments. And this details the names of those who are to receive financial dividends from the post office each year with a record of how much is owing to them. And not only does it break down the payments between the King, Charles II, and his brother, the Duke of York, it also subdivides some of those payments so that we can see, for example, that the lion's share of the King's money went to his mistress, the Duchess of Cleveland, who was not being paid for her postal expertise. A couple of miles further along the archive shelves, as it were, is a box containing something rather strange. These are official packets uh, from the post office, and this is how they appeared in the courtroom in 1964, for these are the exhibits in the Crown Prosecution's case against the men arraigned for the great train robbery. These packets contained used banknotes on the train which was intercepted in the robbery. Masters of the Post has a fresh story to tell about the great train robbery, revealing how the internal security department of the post office came very close indeed to preventing the robbery from happening at all. Overall, this is a narrative that presents a comprehensive history of the post office for the first time for more than 50 years, which in itself is rather an amazing fact considering what an extraordinary story it is.